We turn now to corruption inside Atlanta City Hall. The man who oversaw billions of dollars of city contracts pleads guilty in federal court. Uh, Adam Smith admitted today to accepting thousands of dollars in bribes while head of procurement under Mayor Kasim Reed. Now, senior I-Team reporter Dale Russell was in court today when all this went down. That's right, Sinead, and it's a shock inside City Hall. Smith admitting to taking more than $30,000 in bribes from an unnamed construction vendor whose company walked away with millions in city contracts. And it was clear that Smith, who was brought to City Hall 14 years ago to rewrite ethics laws and clean up city contracts, is telling the FBI everything he knows. Adam Smith, the former chief procurement officer for the city of Atlanta for almost 14 years, pleaded guilty. U.S. Attorney John Horn announcing the third guilty plea in an ongoing FBI bribery investigation. It began with Atlanta city contractors and now has led straight to the heart of City Hall. Smith sold the public's trust in thousand dollar increments and he is guilty now of felony bribery. On February 21st, three FBI agents led by a city employee left City Hall with the computer and cell phone belonging to the head of Atlanta's procurement office. Adam Smith, a 14-year veteran, oversaw the city's purchasing and every single major contract in the city. But I'm not doing anything over here that, that's corrupt. When you say corrupt, that, that's, a, that's a dagger going through my character. Back in 2012, Smith conducted a rare interview with the I-Team in which he defended his decision to throw out bids for food and drink concessions at the airport and start all over. He told me neither he nor his staff had done anything wrong. And I have not gone to jail and will not go to jail. I'm not going to lose my bar license. The second round of concession bids went through with critics saying Mayor Reed's campaign contributors were the big winners. But Smith's decision was vindicated when the city won or settled all appeals. Adam Smith continued his low-profile leadership of the city's powerful procurement office until that cold day in February when the FBI first entered City Hall. Adam Smith was immediately fired. He has been low-key and out of the public eye since. Earlier in May, the Fox 5 I team discovered this Go Get Funding webpage set up by a woman with the same name as his niece. It is described as Adam Smith's legal defense fund. The page was taken down the day after we reached out to Adam Smith. Public corruption is one of the FBI's top priorities. In federal court, we got the first look at the criminal information document that showed between 2015 to January of 2017, a construction firm vendor paid Smith more than $30,000 in cash to assist the vendor with contracting procurement at the city and furnish future benefits and favors when needed. What does it say about all the other contracts that have come through Adam Smith's office? Well, all we can do right now is review the contracts that we're looking at and we follow the evidence where it takes us. This is a human tragedy. One of Smith's attorneys, Bruce Morris, says Smith succumbed to temptation of a bribe and knows he did wrong. He says Smith is cooperating fully. He has explained everything that he knows uh, to the government and has admitted anything that he did and anything that uh, he's aware of that somebody else may have done that the government might be uh, focusing on. Now, Adam Smith, a Morehouse graduate with a master's from Yale University, left the courthouse today without talking. He was surrounded by family and close friends in court. And his plea today makes it clear the FBI investigation is far more reaching than previously thought and far from over. Mm. Russ Sine. So it's very clear he's speaking, he's telling what he knows, but do we have any idea at this point what he's saying? No, not exactly. All we know, we heard this in court, we, you heard from his lawyer that he's cooperating fully. He's mm. telling them everything he knows. But you have to look at it this way. Here's a man who had his hands on every single major contract that came through this city for 14 years. Any attempts to subvert a bid, any attempts to influence a bid, you would have to think that this is a man who might have known what was going on behind the scenes. Mm. We don't know exactly what he's saying, but we know he had this huge area of, of influence, sure. if you will, with city contracts. Well, and we heard his attorney sort of emphasize, he's saying everything. Everything. He, he was clear about that. Let's see what happens still. Thanks very Thanks. much.